everybody. This is all new. I'm doing this on my um, on my phone. Huh. So we drove and drove and drove probably a total of 900 kilometers. I'm not sure what that is in miles. It was like driving all the way to Calgary for sure, possibly bounce from where we were. And it was my mom and my sister and I, we took the ambulance out. Everything's run fabulous. Oh, Tim, thank you so much for that super chat. Naked Viking Raid. You guys were all at Van Life of Gina, weren't you? Thank you so much for that. I wonder if I can play a thank you on here. It's all new to me, you guys, on here. I'm just figuring it out. Here we go. I think that worked. Can you guys let me know if that worked? Thank you so much for that, Tim. Let me see who's all here. It's so weird looking at it like this. Oh, so where we are, we are at the Battlefords Provincial Park. So it is um, just kind of along the edge of the boreal forest. And my service here is better than when I'm at some of the places near home, which is really surprising. But I couldn't get everything to function well enough from hot spotting from my phone onto the laptop. So I'm just trying to bits and piece it together. Oh, Dead Cam Rocks, we're going to get your thunder showers. You know, we had a lot of um, thunder and lightning last night when we got here. And it, it really didn't rain. It didn't rain at all. And that's when there's the forest fires, right? It's kind of scary. But because we were traveling in like 90 to 100 degree temperatures in the ambulance and the air conditioner does not work. Um, yeah. I thought my family was going to strangle me. It was so hot. Now I understand why some people don't drive during the day. But we did get to go see the sand dunes. That was pretty cool. Um, started hiking and realized, yeah, it's way too hot for me. And I forgot my water. Hey, Badge. Good to see you. Tim for time for exploring. Ronald, hello, hello. Um, so it was super hot. So we finally get up to the Battlefords Provincial Park. And I love the provincial parks in our province. And so it's thunder and lightning. We couldn't even go for a swim to cool down. And then today we get up. And what did it hit? 24 Celsius. So like 75 Fahrenheit. And we were so disappointed. Yet at home today, it was almost 100 Fahrenheit. So it's going to be better for sleeping tonight, but my sister and my mom, as soon as we were somewhere that we could camp, they set up a tent out on the air mattresses. The two of them were sleeping in a little tiny tent just to not be in the heat of the ambulance with me. It's crazy. You know what? I really wish we would have just drove first thing in the morning because we were heading west. That would have been the best time, but... They were all up before me every day, but it was so hot to try to fall asleep that it'd be pretty late. And I had all the fans going. But I got a really cool fan in North Battleford at the Walmart there. You charge and, and it recharges. So you can just, you don't even have to have it plugged in anything to have it run all night. So that was nice. Very nice. But our site last night had no power, but we couldn't get another tenting site tonight. So we do have one with power. So all I did for that, I mean, it's not really going to help us stay cool because I don't have air conditioning anyways. But there is one plug that goes into my inverter for my solar power. And I simply unplugged that from my inverter and plugged it into my shore power connection and plugged ourselves in. So... I had to do something to feel like I got our money's worth from using a power site. All right, let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Chug a lug, Doug. Hello, hello. Let me see. It feels so weird using my phone and being at the beach. I was thinking maybe I could walk around and show you guys a little bit, but I'm not sure what you guys want. Maddie and I were thinking of hitting the water again before we go to bed, but getting a little bit cool now i'll be putting a sweater on soon enough peggy says kevin's showing you guys his butt what Andy, cindy i am not doing a topless live thank you very much i will never do a topless live <laughs> yep get mommy some ice cream kevin might look like tarzan by then why what is he doing that he's gonna look like tarzan what does tarzan look like long hair 
buff. Mandy, how would you describe Tarzan? Buff. Long buff. Hair. Long hair. Loincloth. Loincloth. <laughs> could, be, could be a good time. Could be a good time, she says. Oh, well, we're going to find out on Wednesday, aren't we? Mm, he's going to look like Tarzan on my live. Oh. Yeah, Ronald, you know Kevin as well? That's awesome. Hit that. Is it getting colder out here? It's is it just me? freezing. I my sweater. And my shirt. Put a little clothes on. Hello, Karen. Good to see you. Alberta, yay, you did it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. If there is somebody that is in the chat, you're probably going to have to, like, put a comment in here and let me know. Oh, and the moderators can't drop the link to invite someone on here. Um, to invite, that's through StreamYard. And, um, and only I can do that, I think. But there might have been a way I was missing. Michael McReynolds, hello, good to see you here. I don't know how people like um, like 30 and a wake up does it. Like I can see, because everyone just got one line comments. I can see one, two, three, four, five at a time. So it's, and it's not moving fast, it's easy. But if I don't try to hit it, I should be able to keep up with it. Shevna, hello. Yes, Nate, you heard loincloth. <laughs> the whole Tarzan thing, right? Papa Texas says, I'm in the middle of something, but I wanted to stop by and say hi and leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much, Papa Texas. It's always good to see you. Get my AC working. Yeah, Janice, that would have been great. But you know what? I There is, I'm going to um, put some money aside and I'm going to get a portable air conditioner that I can at least do when I'm, use when I'm plugged into power and I know exactly where it's going. I know exactly how I'm going to vent it and run it. So it's going to be awesome. Wait, DJ's laughing at Tom's wild and wonderful views. What did I miss? I told my friend that I'm not really a Canadian, but I don't know why he was not having, <laughs> he wasn't having it, Nanunavit. <laughs> Tom, Tom, you must be working on these ones lately. Uh, is the volume okay? Like is the bit of a breeze affecting anything guys? Mm. Does my sister have a channel? Peggy, no, she does not. Mandy, do you think you'll ever start a YouTube channel? No. Do you want to come sit with me so it no. looks like a little more entertaining? No, no, I'm okay over here. Thank you, though. You know, one thing I'm really happy to see all the kids around here on their bikes with their bike helmets on. We've seen some pretty flashy ones since we've been here. But these kids were going in the one part of the campsite down a road that was on an angle, flying down around it, around the curve. It's a good thing I was putzing in the ambulance because that could have been really bad. People, you need to watch your children. You need to watch your children. There's nobody here listening to me. <laughs> uh. Oh, Jan, you're having a fudge bar. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. First world problems. Hard to type and eat a fudge bar. Just get in the moose milk and you won't feel anything, let alone the heat. Oh my gosh. I was so dehydrated. If I'd been drinking, I'd have been I'd have been done. Like done. Just crazy. Everything sounds good. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much for that. Um, did I miss any other questions? Oh Laura, you're from Ontario? Awesome. Okay, let me go down to the bottom. Oh, Alberta, your bus is in the shop. What are you getting fixed? Wait, wait, wait. Did Kevin say goodbye? All right. Oh, Peggy, that's so sweet. Mandy, Peggy Windham says, okay, just checking. Wanted to support our YouTube family. That's cute. I know how sweet she is. I love it. Um, you have to talk, type like Rob now. That's... My sister's looking at me. You know when you don't know how to type type, so you type with one finger, and then you get really good, you're up to two? <laughs> I'm up to two. So I moved a lot when I was in high school, and I always seemed to miss the year they took typing. And I really wasn't too upset about it, so I never made a point of trying to learn. <gasps> Tom, oh my goodness, thank you so much. What is this? I don't know why the maple syrup is always so sad. Perhaps because it's so sad. Yeah. Just look on her face right now, Tom. 
<laughs> Here, now let me see if I can play it. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. I don't know if that played. <laughs> You know what is so interesting to me, you guys, is I play those when I'm on the computer and Streamer glitches in and out and stuff and someone is recording me from a distance over here or else they're trying to get a good view of the beach and there is no sunset. So Mandy's sitting in front of me. Sorry, what was I saying? <laughs> they're walking away now. They're probably going, what is that lady doing? Of course, everybody talks on their phones now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I forget what I was just saying. Oh, a vacuum pump for the brakes and some belts. Ooh, $1,000 hurts, right? I mean, you know it can get much more than that. Oh, have I been to Niagara Falls? Yes, I have. Oh, did I miss another super chat? Hang on, let me back up. Where did I? Aw, Tracy, thank you. Let me play one for you too. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And for real, was this on the news? Heard two dummies tried to use fake vaccine cards and got busted at the border. Wow. But how would you know if it's fake or not? Because they can't tap into our personal records. Yes, they can. At the they border, can, they can look into The border personal. can look into our health they can records? They look into your personal health records. Because if you're at risk or stuff like that, mental health, they can uh, deny you. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that makes sense. Then I don't have to worry if I lose my card. Well, I wouldn't want to lose it, but it's nice they can confirm it. <laughs> Although everything I do wrong or every time I forget something, my mom's like, must have been the vaccination. Must have been the vaccination. Okay, 100%. let's bring my really shitty memory on the vaccination. <laughs> the vaccine. Oh, my goodness. If I lose weight, is it the vaccine's fault? If I gain weight, is it the vaccine's fault? If I become 20 years younger, does the vaccine get the credit or age me? Then I'm going to blame the vaccine. <laughs> oh, yeah. So Niagara Falls, yes, I was there. I think I was like five months pregnant with my son. He's 19. So like 20 years ago, I was there. I went, we did the tour underneath the falls and the, you put the raincoats on. And I'm trying to, we never went on the maiden, uh, the, or the mist, or what do you call the boat one? Never did that, I don't think, but we did go underneath, so that was really cool. Made of the mist. Made yeah. of the mist, okay. Oh, your first channel was Adventures with Purpose. That's awesome. Yeah, you know what, Peggy? I find it's really nice to be a part of a community. It is awesome, whether you're doing the live stream, whether you're on someone else's, or you're part of the chat, it's, it's, it's like when you used to watch a show Cheers and Norm walks in and everyone's like, Norm! It's like everybody here gets to know each other and you feel like you have your place no matter where you are or anybody else's. It's, uh, that's how I feel and I really like it. Oh, and I want to thank all my moderators for just being on top. What the hell did I just miss? Oh my gosh, Tim! Wait, I got to scroll and find it. Is that legit? 50 bucks? Here's to no moose milk. Oh, you know. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to play something. What can I play? Which one haven't I played? <laughs> your kindness is most definitely appreciated. Thank you so much, you guys, for your support. It's awesome. Okay, Jen, you got to be kidding. Costco fudge bars are only 90 calories of deliciousness. Thanks. I'd say mail it to me, but it might take a month. <laughs> it's three months. Three months for one little envelope to get to Australia. And I don't even know if Dan's ever got his sticker that I sent out at the same time. <gasps> they got fined $2,000 each? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so much more work for Border Patrol to do now. Like, yeah, it's, it's just so much work. Mm. Ron finds all of this addicting as well. Me too. 
Me too. Anyways, I was saying before, thank you, my moderators, for thanking everyone with the super chats, even when I'm behind, and welcoming everyone in. You guys are amazing and a huge part of me having the ability to do this channel. I don't know if I never get trolls or not. If I do, my mods must be right on top of it because it's never really been a problem in a live stream. I'm really blessed. Wanda's house sitting and not feeling well. Oh no, you better get better. Better get better. Yes, everybody, I agree. Tim is awesome. You're freezing? Okay, see ya. Love ya. Bye. Don't lock me out of the ambulance. Because I've done that before. I should just yell RV because when I yell ambulance, people really wonder. I don't know. But there was a gentleman today that we met that um, was driving one of those great, great big buses, like the ones that t take um, hockey teams and different things like that. And his son owns a couple different ones and they charter them and stuff. And we were just talking different things about it and what it'd be like to convert one. But I get twice the gas mileage he gets in that, even though that's huge. But, um, yeah, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. I don't think I'm, I'm not going to upgrade. I love what I have. I just need to get, I need to get air conditioning going. <laughs> and other than that, I don't, I mean, I, I got my pump for the water. I have to install that and then regulating the temperature for the shower water. That's all I need. That's all I need. But it's really nice to actually be out and about in it. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if Badge hadn't put that starter in for me. Oh, Tracy, you have a great night. We'll see you later. Oh, my chat jumped again. Adventures in Xanadu. Hello, hello, Julie. Good to see you. Oh, we all think of you as family as well, my girl. Okay, what is this? Just tell everyone they'll lose 20 pounds if they take the vaccine and we'll have all the non-vaccine folks running, right? I would get three more shots if that would work. <laughs> oh, hello, Wendy. Good to see you. You want to shush me? I'm missing something. Oh, you haven't been on the Maiden of the Mist either, but you've done the tour behind the falls twice. Yeah, I went with Auntie, Auntie Cindy out there. I'm actually really excited um, to get out to Ontario and spend some time with Auntie. I haven't seen her. Auntie, when was the last time I saw you? Was it when we went down after Bart passed? Like 20 years ago? I know you must have come down for something and I can't remember what. Oh, I would have seen you. Oh, I hate talking with people's funerals. It's the only time families seem to get together anymore, right? Everybody moves apart. But we are changing that. And I can't wait to see DJ and Amy and Caleb. And I got to see Amy and Caleb this week. You guys saw that on Wednesday. I was super excited for that. I can't wait to give my brother the hugest hug. Yeah, where everybody knows your name. That's cheers. I had one lady today. I was... I parked the ambulance into today's campsite and this lady drives slowly by and stuff. She's like, that is just the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I got all blushy and I was like, that's so sweet. Thank you. And she hasn't even seen the inside of it, which it was a disaster at the time. It's so funny. So we had to pack up last night to switch sites. And I said, well, don't pack up the tent. I said, just unpeg it. We'll lift it up. I'll open the back doors and we'll put it on my bed in the back of the ambulance. So they lifted it up with the air mattresses, the blankets and the pillows and everything. I'm grabbing it from the inside, pulling it in. My sister's pushing on the other. And we had it in. So all they did was pull it out, pop a couple legs back in, peg her down, done. Completely set up for their evening. It was awesome. Oh, I don't know, Badge, if anyone's going to be able to come to Canada in the middle of August. The 9th is when the border opens, but as of August 6th, actually any time now, the border's guards are in position to strike. They're definitely in position to strike unless an agreement's come up in the last three days that I've been missing the news. Yeah. Hello, fantastic night venture. Sheldon, good to see you. Okay, what is this? Can any Canadian jump higher than the CN Tower? Every Canadian can jump higher than the CN Tower because a tower cannot jump. There you go. Common sense for the win. Common sense for the win. 
follow, follow. Desert Adventures in Arizona. Good to see you, Steve. You know, I did consider all I got to do is put um, four eye hooks, really, with the, the little peg parts to the top of the ambulance and, yeah, set up a tent up there. And I was talking to my sister about us doing it. But here's the catch to that. The steps to get up to the ambulance are on the inside of an exterior door. So I have to open up the door, flip the latches down to climb up. So if I go and sleep on the top, that door is open all night long for any critter, bug, anything that wants to get in there. And there is no door stopper or catch on that particular door. So if it slams shut, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be having a very difficult time getting myself off the roof. So I was talking, maybe what I need to do is make a little rope ladder. So I'll open the exterior door, climb up, slam it shut from the top. And then when I want to get down, just drop the rope ladder. Oh, he's thinking. It would have been a lot cooler. A lot cooler. Let me just see what else is going on here. I do not snore. I do not snore unless I have a cold. That's it. That's all there is to it. Wow. You know what I'm really surprised by? There is so many times you're not supposed to have alcohol out and about in a campground in fact you can walk from one campsite to the next one and get a ticket i've actually seen it happen to someone but at this place people are walking around with beer in their koozies some of them just freaking hammered that walking by making fun of me talking to my phone and he can't even walk a straight line interesting how those rules work uh do i have solar panels yeah i do i have uh 250 watts but they don't take the entire roof i actually have enough room up there to put another four panels for sure if i wanted to if i had the need to actually right now um i can run the coffee maker or i can use the microwave and all my lights and fans going and my power system's been working great so that's good i haven't run out of power so far on this trip hello step van dan good to see you yeah, I'm going to do a rope platter, I think, for that one. Yeah, I don't think very many many of us will get to be to M21. Although, okay, that's in September. So I have a feeling if they do strike or they're in position to strike, it's going to get worked out pretty quick. If they're now doing everything they already had to do at the border and they're checking to confirm people's vaccinations, like, they need they need a better wage. They're They're very important. Oh, so some of them have reached a tentative agreement. Awesome. That is so good. That means we got some potential. The Mexico border is wide open, but we can't come into the States. Has that changed yet? The strike is over. They got a deal. Okay, my chat had jumped the question up here. Hello, Shanikov. Good to see you. Oh, good. I hope they did reach an agreement. Awesome. Okay, let me come back down here and see what I can see. Well, I don't understand why Papa thinks I snore. And you don't get to sleep beside me to find out. <laughs> yeah, Badge and Al are so excited for the border open and not spend another winter in Canada. Wouldn't that be fantastic? I used to have an open mind, but my brains keep falling apart or falling out. Wah, wah, wah. Is the wind distracting? I'll put my hand in behind there. See if it makes it better. Collapsible ladder, yeah. Well, I'm not drinking, so I'm not going to be snoring from drinking. M21 is uh, another meetup in Michigan. Somewhere in Michigan, right, guys? If you want to update Alberta. We're trying to keep track of more of the events that are going on in Alberta. As you stay in the community and you follow along, you're going to get to find out where there's more meetups in Canada, which we're all trying to work together to create. Um, and there's a lot of set meetups in the U in the U.S., so that's pretty good. In, like, the fall, winter, when it's cold here and a little bit warmer there, it's pretty good. Let me see. Fan. Are you my biggest fan? Oh, well, now I sound like Tom. I sound like Tom. <laughs> uh, yes, it is in Michigan. 
what is this? Robin can, Jan can ban. I snore with or without alcohol. One minute and I'm out. I wish I could fall asleep that fast. Papa Texas, you're sure I snore? Hmm. Now I'm going to have to record myself. Record myself and see if I snore. But of course, that would not be evidence to you guys because if I did, I would edit it out. My mother didn't raise any dummies over here, I tell ya. Oh, Wanda Wander is gonna be at M21. Awesome. I just claimed I don't hear anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll do you, you know what? Do you guys have a certain time of night you wake up if you wake up during the night? Like if you don't sleep through the night, what time do you usually wake up? Put it in the chat, let's see. Because there is a very specific time that if I wake up at night, it's always at that same time. Always. And it doesn't matter what time I go to bed. Mm. An Alberta meetup would be fabulous. It would. The one I have is in Saskatchewan. We just had the very first one. Oh, the wind is picking up a little bit. I guess I'm not going to be swimming. I have my bathing suit on underneath my clothes. Okay, you want to hear me purr like a kitten? <laughs> I wouldn't be sleeping if I was purring like a kitten. <laughs> uh, okay, 3 a.m., 3 a.m. I'm going to have to stay up all night and listen to see if I snore. <laughs> right, then I definitely wouldn't be. 5, 3, 4, 20, 4, 20. <laughs> Sorry, why do I pick up on stupid shit like that? Um, two and four thirty. Up at six fifteen. No matter when you go to sleep, four. Well, a lot of the first ones are exactly the same as me. It's three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. I always wake up. It doesn't matter what time I go to bed, unless I tire myself out. Darn, that means I have to get exercise. But if I tire myself out and and sleep through the night, great. But if I don't sleep through the night, guaranteed, three o'clock is the most common time that I'm up. Hello, Dale. Good to see you here. Wait, stop. The slacker's here. Slacker bus. Dale Betts is in the house. <laughs> yeah, it would be bad if you wake up hearing yourself snoring. A lot of people, their snoring does wake them up. You better check if you have sleep, sleep apnea or anything like that. You can get that tested, you know. That puts a lot of stress on someone's heart, doesn't it? You're lucky if you get to sleep by 3 a.m. Well, it's not our fault that time's so different, Janice. <laughs> Just have a nap. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My big snore. Papa. Papa Texas. <laughs> yeah, my big snore must kick in <gasps> right at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm probably gasping for air from the last big snore, right? Frederick Heron. Hey. It's a sure sign of insanity that I wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Does that prove that I'm insane? Can that be my def my uh, legal defense? Do you think that would work? Hmm. Oh, well, isn't that convenient? When it's just you, you don't snore, but when someone's there, you do. So that might just mean you had no proof, right? Oh, you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning all the time. Wow. I'm one of those people, I need 7 to 9 hours of sleep to feel like a million bucks. Okay, Tim, you wake up multiple times a night because, oh, neck and back pain. To get back. So, Tim, do you end up sleeping in that massage chair? I, and you showed us on one of the live streams. That thing looks amazing. Like, do you just fall asleep in it? Tom used to sleep through the night, but after his wife passed away, 3 o'clock... Is the time you wake up if you wake in the middle of the night, right? First sign of going crazy is hair on your knuckles. Is looking to see if I have hair on my knuckles mean I'm going crazy? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah. Check on my fingernails. Ombre. They're pretty faded. That's what happens when you're working on stuff. Hmm. Let me see. That's right. Nate doesn't wake up. If he did wake up, he might realize that he's walking around his house and out of his house. And what body parts were you breaking in your sleep again, Nate? That's right. I got to back up. What did Laura say? I see people laughing. 
Ann wakes up for potty breaks. Overtired or too much alcohol snore. Maybe I normally do snore on Saturday nights and if alcohol does it, because you guys kill me on Saturday nights. You guys are awesome though. The second sign is looking for it. Laura, I walked right into it, right into it. Yes, Nate does wake up with broken bones. He has shared some stories. You're definitely going to have to check out Land Cloud Adventures from time to time. Yeah, Laura, you better love me after tricking me like that on a live stream. <laughs> oh, you did almost fall asleep sometimes in your massage chair. Oh, you have to sleep on your stomach. I totally sleep on my stomach too, from birth. Because that's how people used to put their kids to sleep, on their stomachs. Now we were told on their backs. I don't know, maybe it's changed again. But I still sleep on my stomach. In fact, I sleep on this side. <laughs> so I have more wrinkles on this side. By the time you're 46, it starts to show. Like, I look younger over here than I do over here. I think it's because I sleep on my face. Right? Ooh, Epsom salt, CBD oils. Oh, my grandma used to have that restless leg syndrome. Yeah, you hear about a lot of that stuff now, but... You didn't hear about it so much and she'd sit up and she'd just have to keep rubbing her calves which is it felt so bad for her sleep wrinkles too okay and when you're super dehydrated like lines in your face get really bad everywhere and now if i sleep with all my makeup on i'll wake up my eyelashes will be like all the way over like this it's first world first world problems first world problems you know what no alcohol on a saturday night and i feel like i'm having some difficulty speaking <laughs> Drinking pickle juice, a lack of electrolytes. I know doing keto, I've heard about, well, I've actually done it before when I've tried it. And you're getting dizzy and stuff and your electrolytes are out of whack and you got to drink some pickle juice. That helps with that for sure. Ron Daryl Adventures. You used to, uh, Twilight half asleep, half awake. Wow right they do but they're young so they should understand the technology and i have this sitting on my gimbal right now so it's not you know i don't know whatever yeah they're probably talking to me look at that crazy lady talking to her phone especially because i'm not young maybe they maybe they think i'm too old for technology right maybe i should go show you guys the lake yeah i'm that crazy lady Pickle juice to take the burn out of burns. I know vinegar. Oh, I thought, well, there's vinegar in it. When I, like, today I got some color, <laughs> but it didn't actually burn much. So what I used to do when I would burn bad is I would do the vinegar to take the sting, like that, take the burn out of the burn, and then aloe, pure aloe on top. And if you take a lot of um, fish oil and vitamin E, your burns heal a lot faster. I really did that one year. It was amazing the difference. Irish spring soap in her bed. Huh. You wake up smelling fresh. What did I miss Papa Texas say? And why is Jeff laughing at him? Mayhem RV, don't encourage him. I'm scrolling back. Oh, Papa rubs calves for $10 an hour. Yeah, yeah. I'm broke. <laughs> You guys are funny. Try putting a bar of soap under the bottom sheet. And what does that do? What other stuff can we do to get a good sleep? Lavender essential oil is good for burns. Pretty good at handling the burn stuff here. Take my towel. Oh, you guys, I love this towel. I have a blue one and I have a pink one and they're those microfiber towels. And they, they, they're good sizes. They absorb a lot, but they dry super fast. So they're super easy to wash and hang to dry. And they fold up teeny tiny. It's awesome. Love them. This is the second one. Oh, okay. Let's go see. I'm going to show you guys the water. I wonder if I can turn this camera around. Wine is good for everything. RV living life. You are right up my alley. Although it better not be red wine because I cannot handle red wine. I like the really cheap sweet stuff. <laughs> Jacob's Creek for this kid. 
quick dry towels are awesome. You have a couple too. Yeah. Um, and there's a couple different brands. In fact, both of mine are from different companies, but they're amazing. I have a link on my website, but, and that's another thing. I don't think I'm going to renew my website. I don't really, I don't know. It doesn't really do much at this point. Maybe it was like a big, huge channel or something. It'd be different. You know, it is really nice. The smoke has cleared away a lot tonight. I can actually see it's cloudy. <laughs> um, I'll turn myself around with this. And I'll see if I can show you guys these floating, um, I don't know what, they're like a floating playground, but it's like kids and adults use them. They have to put their life jackets on. Jacob's Creek Moscato is delish. Michael, and that's what we'll have to have if I get to visit you. Okay, let's see if you can see behind me. Where am I here? Wait. Keep going. Oh, it looks too small on there. I'm going to have to try to see if I can turn my camera around. Oh, wait. there you jump off stuff. You slide down stuff. It's kind of, um, oh, you guys, what is that thing where people, oh, my goodness. There are those big challenges, and they're on water, and there's fire, and they jump all over the place. I, I totally can't explain this at all. You don't like the feel of microfiber? I just use them just to dry off quick. It's not like I use them for my bedding or anything. Maybe that would be different. Wipeout, yes, and Ninja Warriors, but Wipeout is exactly the one I was talking about. Out here, that's when you start heading that direction, you're into the boreal forest. There's a boat coming in. There's like amazing walleye fishing out here. It's actually pretty cool. That is the play thing. Holy crap, it might get dark. Ooh, I might have a tan. One day in the sun. that boat going in and I'll start walking back to the campsite yeah so I'm at a different lake for a change I've actually never been here before and it's it's really large the grass is pretty dry it's understandable we've had an extremely dry year um yes was it yesterday before we got here we stopped at um what place is that again Oh my goodness! It was near the sand, north of, uh, near the sand dunes. Anyways, it was a different provincial park. And for example, all this area that you see out here that's sand, more than that amount is how much the water had receded at that one other lake. It was crazy. Like someone told us, there was probably thirty feet from the shore to the water that used to all be submerged underwater. That's a huge, like, Lake Diefenbaker. Oh, darned if I can remember what was the name of that campsite. I'm sure I recorded it somewhere. Oh, I can, oh, they have mini golf here. I can see a bunch of lights on there. Oh, I saw a sign earlier. They, what was it, like, from, like, this time till, I don't know, midnight or something, they have glow mini golf. Cool. There's lots of pretty cabins here. Actually, we're not far from North Battleford, and, like, 20 plus years ago, I worked at 7-Eleven. I managed a 7-Eleven store, totally different lifestyle. And I actually managed the store up here in North Battleford, but I never got a chance to go and check out any of the area. I didn't know anyone except for staff. And I pretty much pulled doubles all the time. That's what happens when you work on salary, right? But now to be out here, it's great because it's, there's so many lakes. In fact, and I'm going to make a video on it. We're going to go check it out tomorrow. There's a place called Koshin. And it is so funny because at this lake, they actually have a lighthouse. Now, I've heard of lighthouses along the water on oceans, but never, never a lake, freshwater lake. It's so weird. But I took my brother and sister there, them there, probably 22 years ago and we hiked up it and checked it out so dj you're in there you might remember it um so we're gonna go check that out so i'm excited to do that oh and what else we're doing we're gonna go to the, the crooked bush so there's this area that is full of these funky looking trees like really crazy and i hadn't realized we had that here so um we're gonna go check that out. That's about an hour and a half of where I am right now. Where am I traveling to? Well, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to head back home. 
Like, we're going to stay here tonight and tomorrow, check out the crooked bush. And then I'm not sure if we're going to stop and see anything on the way home. Because, well, I guess as long as we stop somewhere that I could have Wi-Fi for work. Because I really have to work on Monday. I did bring all of my work stuff with me. But um, I brought it just mostly in case we broke down or something. And if I couldn't get it home, I didn't want to miss any work. And I have some stuff that I really have to get done. Mm. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. Let me just see what I'm missing. Lake Superior's many lighthouses. Yeah, it is more like a like a ocean than a lake for sure. But I think this is the only lighthouse that we have here in Saskatchewan because you always hear of Saskatchewan as flatland prairies, right? And so, I don't know. It's just a neat novel thing to see. I mean, the only other time I've seen one is on Prince Edward Island when I was out there, which was really cool. Oh, lots of lighthouses on Lake Michigan. Awesome. Very awesome. Oh, DJ, you remembered and you slid down the rail. That's right. That's right. behind me. That's the store. And then there's washrooms. I haven't checked out the showers on this part. The campsites here are pretty nice. Like huge, huge. Like where we're camped right now, you could fit. Okay, I have the ambulance there. You could fit three of them in there and probably a boat and some tents. Like it's insanely huge. And where I'm right now, I'm walking away from the lake. You don't see as many trees. But as we get going, it's heavily treated and it's gorgeous, folks. It's gorgeous. Yes, PI has lots of lighthouses. I went on a tour and they showed this perfect spot to stop and take a picture. And you can see like kind of like a wagon trail road and the dirt was red and had the, the colors of the fields and then the dark blue water and the lighter blue sky it was gorgeous. I still have that picture somewhere. I might. I might even have it on my phone. I think I had it on my Facebook and I uploaded it to my phone. Dang, this thing keeps meandering all over the place. Can you see me now? Oh, there's a button I'm supposed to be able to use to adjust this. Whoa. There. Now do I look younger? Oh, wait, that's the slide I sleep on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, it's funny. Is there anybody else going live now? I think I should go spend some time with my family. I'm really loving having my sister here, you guys, and the three of us all together visiting. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty special, especially after all the times where we've all had to be so isolated. I appreciate it more than anybody knows. Peace and love, brother, right back at you. Karen, you liked meeting my sister? Yeah. She's funny. I want her to be on the stream more because she's a freaking blast. She's got an amazing sense of humor. And if you could be a fly on the wall and listen to some of the conversations she and my mom and I have when we're together, it is so funny. It's like all of a sudden we become the wittiest people we know. Like we just catch every little one-liner and we laugh and there's all those inside family jokes and we laugh. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, I'm pretty much here. I'll have to show you guys a little hammock I set up for mom. Thank you, Laura. I will have a great adventure. A couple more days out here. Do some filming. I filmed the sand dunes for you guys, so I will be putting a little short video out on that. The crooked bush I will do a video on. Oh, my family's out here reading. Let's see. If, can I say hello? hello? They won't let me. Well, hello. I'm not filming you, but I just asked if I could say hello. Threats. Threats. Fine. They can be that way then. Oh, there's my ambulance. I think you've seen her once or twice before. So because we have a power site, I pulled out an extension cord and I had one string of lights. <laughs> so I, oh my goodness. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna step behind. You gotta see what these guys did when they saw me coming with the camera. Hang on. It's gonna roll over to them. They both pulled up their hoods, their hoodies, and tightened it around their faces. <laughs> yeah. 
They are so funny, but just spoil sports. That's okay, I'm not looking at you. You love the decal on the back? Oh, you guys saw that? Yeah. Um, those are the stickers, uh, the decals that um, Bad Janelle got for me. So there's Van Vita Travels on there, and there is Palapalooza. Are you allowed to have a campfire? Nope. Nope, fire bans everywhere here. I could cook on the butane stove, and if somebody had a propane camp stove, they're allowed to use that, but absolutely no campfires here at this point in time. Hey. Oh, Janet, you haven't seen your brother in over two years. I was like me with my sister, and now I get to see her, and I'm so happy. I'm so lucky. It's cool out here. They're going to have a really cool night sleeping in the tent. It's still warm in the ambulance, right, Mom? Is the ambulance still warm? Well, I'll go check it out here. Let's go take a peek, you guys. Now, remember, oh, three of us have been camping in here, so it may not be the tidiest. But I'll give you the real lived-in look for a couple days. Oh, okay, let me see where this goes. Okay, it's a mess. I know those are my clothes. My bed, my curtains, my couch. We got some pool noodles coming up here kitchen area uh, that is my shower slash bathroom yeah I am um, changed a couple things in here I oh my tiles are new in behind me you probably can't see the same there used to be just a black um, thing right across here and it was wasted space you can't tell because of lighting but I put baskets in there for now so it's all right yeah, I can come in here, I can make my coffee, I can read my book. I have the whole ambulance to myself tonight because they're sleeping out there, although they can come in if they get cold. Which was so funny because my mom brought an air mattress for my sister to sleep on because I have the bed, mom's on the couch, and then my sister's going to sleep on the floor. And then we were like, wait, is this just a little floaty? But no, apparently it is a mattress. It is the smallest single mattress I have ever seen in my whole entire life so small but oh here's a really cool fan okay the one i really like to let me see it folds up look at this this has been charging hang on let me just set you there i forgot i'm on a gimbal okay so this fan is super cool turn some more lights on there oh can you see me now look at this you just lift it up and you can turn it on, right? So just, I, this was just charging. I can put it anywhere I want, but there's more. I'm not sponsored by this product. Do, 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 do. Yes, I can put it on the floor and make it really tall. And I can tip it anywhere I want. And it is three tiers. So guess what I'm sleeping with tonight? <laughs> this is my biggest fan. <laughs> Pretty jazzy. You just hit the button. You see the three levels? Yeah. I like it. I like it. Oh, Janice, thank you so much for dropping. Oh, that feels good. For dropping that email address. Hello, Weekend RVing. We're just wrapping up to say goodnight, Laura. Yeah, it's a super awesome fan. And I get recharged. So when it's daytime and I constantly have power refilling on my solar system, this can charge and then at night, right? If I have a bunch of stuff going, this isn't going to draw any power from my system. Just like I make my cooler colder during the day and then set it back to normal at night so it doesn't have to run so hard when there isn't consistent power coming in. Yeah. It's 12 degrees there in Alberta. Oh my goodness. Oh, and thank you, Nate, for dropping that. Here's Papa Texas. I am absolutely loving life. I really am. I'm a mess today, too. I shouldn't have done my live stream. <laughs> I was just at the beach all day. Had a great time. Lots of fun. Tomorrow's going to be a lot more fun. Yeah, Laura, if you want to make sure you make it, all you got to do is um, on the subscribe button, ring the bell. But if you click it at the click on it and there's a top option and the bell's got the little quotes around it, then you should get all the notifications. That's how it's supposed to work. Doesn't always. Oh, bad. You guys, it's like 10 right now. Papa Texas, thank you so much. Let me play a thank you for you, my friend. 
friend, my friend, my pain in the butt friend you are. Can't wait to meet Jeff. There we go. You have a USB chargeable fan with large clips. I have some that have large clips, but they're battery operated. So hang on, I'll show you. Let me just show you quick. But my battery is dead. This baby, this is battery operated. So I can clip it from somewhere. I can turn it a bunch of different directions, up and down or up and down. Yeah, it's handy. Batteries, it works, probably the most effective thing to use them with. But I have my hot flash fans that I always joke about. Those are, um, they're smaller and you plug them in and recharge them and they're really good too. And actually they're quite a bit of power for how, how small they are. Yeah, except I don't have the charging card in there. It's, you know, I had so much stuff set in here to remember to go on a trip and then... You know, we stripped it out and I'm trying to remember to put stuff back. What do I need? What do I not need? And so I'm kind of making a little list of things I need to add back in, but it's actually going pretty good. It's, it's awesome. And if it gets too cold here, I can turn my diesel heater on or my propane heater. So I'm not worried about the heat that's covered now. It's just being able to cool down, but get it figured out. Because that's a trick too, right? You're going on solar power, so you need the sun on your ambulance, but you want to have some shade so it doesn't get too hot. But extreme heat is not something we normally experience. I mean, for us hot days, normally like 80. I will not get rowdy. Not at all. I'm going to grab my book because I was reading a book too. I love reading when I'm at the beach. It's like the most relaxing feeling. Did badge autograph and beat after he finishes all their upgrades? Uh, no, I've made some upgrades since he left as well, which I can't wait to show him myself too. Um, let me see. There's still a couple more things I want him to do. Don't you worry about that. Just kidding, badge. Yeah, his signature is working on it. Actually, you know, it's super neat. Which video was it? Badge, if you look back at the video that's, um, badges birthday bash that we did in October um someone commented on it go read it it was a really nice comment about how they had first seen you on Jax's channel and they knew right away when they saw you then that you were the real deal and and made some really nice comments about you so you should go take a look at that video's comments that was just today I noticed it oh Karen you have a cold girl you take care of yourself hey Anne oh Jean-Marc thank you so much for asking everyone to click Okay, weekend arriving. Can't, weekend RVing. It's super cool, right? And uh, I was in a different town as Walmart. Cause my Walmart's really small. There was this one, and another company had another one that claimed to do the same things, and they were only like three dollars difference in price. I just grabbed this one. If I was to get another one, I think I would get the other one too, so I can compare them. But they're really handy. Like I could be sitting outside with this if I really wanted, and. It, it has great power, but I can fold it like this. Like I brought with me this great big black fan, which takes tons of power. Um, and it's in the way. And this is perfect. This is like, I have pans and pots that are bigger than this. And the base is just big enough for some stability. That's pretty cool. Definitely happy with that purchase. Definitely happy. Oh, what is this? With enough patches on Vita where he could sign his name. Yeah, right? All the lights he took out and put metal on there. <laughs> you guys are all funny. All right, everyone. It was so good to see you all. Thank you so much for coming and spending a Saturday night with me. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to play my... Oh, do I not have a thank you on here? I do. So this is a thank you to my channel members. Um, without them and all of you, I definitely wouldn't have a channel. So I appreciate each and every one of you. Good night. Much love, everyone.